Hi, this is Gadget Man 404, and today I'm replacing my flight control board for my Cyma X8C. And before I do anything, I'm looking at this flight control board. I don't know if you can see, but there's hardly any solder, and on, on some of the pads, there's no solder at all. Yeah, like those two up there, there's nothing there, and then not much down there. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tin these. So you have to be very careful not to go mad and give it too much. But I'm, uh, I'm new to soldering. It's not really working how I want it to work. It's not taking for some reason. This has got built in flux. This. So I'm just going to put it on pause a minute. Right, I've forgotten just how long it takes to take apart because it's been a while since I've had to do this. But now the next job. Is you've got to unsolder the the motors. So, I don't know. So I'll try this one. So I've got to change the flight control board. So. This is a very old soldering iron. But it's been lent to me, so I can't complain. But you get the gist, so I'll just do this. And then I'll come back in a few minutes when I've just done this. Okay, thank you. Right, now I've desoldered the board. I'm now going to take it off. And also what I've done is, I've tinned the wires of the motor pods. So it should be easier to... Uh, Put them on, and when you take it apart, there is absolutely hundreds and hundreds of screws. So just remember where they all come from because you've got to put them all back when you've done this. And trust me, it's taken me ages to get to this point. But at least I'll have a working quad at the end of it, fingers crossed. Right there, I've just seen another two wires. Sorry about that. And then uh, and what you've got to do is there's a switch, the switch which is down there, the wiring is soldered to the board up here. So 
I'm going to take them out and I have a feeling that basically that could have got damaged so I've got to desolder these two and then I'll be right back so just hang, hang on for me people thank you right all the leads are now plugged in so all the LED the ports are all plugged into the right ones. Now I don't know if that power switch has blown and I won't know until I uh, have soldered it all together and then connect a battery. So yeah that's a bit of a pain but there's no way to test the switch until everything's powered on. So and I've got to tin two more wires. They go up there. That's where the switch get soldered to and then you've got all your wire, all your motor mounts that have to go positive negative positive negative etc etc so I'm not gonna film me soldering it all on but I will be back when I have finished but that's the next step is soldering all the motor wires onto the flight control board and fitting the flight control board which I will do as well okay so bear with me people thank you as you can see all the joints are now made and I've tested with a battery to make sure that the LEDs come on and they do. Now what I'm going to do in my next job is I've got different batteries with different connectors than this and I'm going to solder another battery connector onto the top and then feed it round the back and then I can use two different types of batteries, they're still going to be the same power 7.4 volts but I'm just going to have another one soldered onto the top and have it either popping down there or popping down there but I'm just going to do a test now so you can uh, stay here for this bit, I'm going to connect a battery Switch her on. Let's see if the motor's on. Oh, it does help if you plug them in, you goon. I had to take them out when I was taking it apart. Uh, it's promising that all the LEDs were on and before they weren't on. So just bear with me because I can't see where that one's going to go. Alright, so to save you putting it all back together and then something don't work, I do that. Just leave it uh, dissembled and then try throttling. Got three, that one, that one, and that one, and that one isn't going. So that one has blown, so I'll just replace that one motor, and that's just saved me a hell of a lot of time. So there's another good uh, a good tip. Don't put it all back together before you start it and see what goes off. So I just need to change that motor out, so just bear with me and I'll be back shortly. Hi guys, I'm back, and as you're about to see, all four motors are on. So that's a good tip, don't put it all back together, test it before you do. So I'm now going to put mine all back together, and then uh, that's it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry you didn't see me do the soldering, but it's very I'm you know concentrating, and I wouldn't be talking while I'm uh, soldering anyway. But for now, it all seems that it's working. So uh, please, uh, yeah, drop me a line, subscribe, comment, leave me a message. I get I do get back to all the messages left me, and uh, yeah. 
thank you for watching this video. Gadget Man 404 out.